Garamagath, and thank you, Cahir. Look, uh, today we got the announcement of Just Transition funds, and that's over 80 million of Exchequer funds combined with EU Just Transition funds of another 80 million. That's 160 million for the counties in the Midlands, including Ross Common and Banisloe Municipal District in County Galway. I really want to highlight and compliment both the groups, community groups, both the entities that are getting the funding from this. We're seeing in Banisloe, for example, uh, just outside of Banisloe, Ockram, only a few miles outside, uh, Visitor Centre. Battle of Ockham Visitor Centre, over 100,000 have been allocated to actually come up with a plan to extend the opening hours potentially. Uh, that centre, for example, is only open in the summer months. Uh, we're also seeing in Ross Common, fantastic, close to 1.2 million going into Lockkey Forest and Activity Park. And again, that's one of the, the jewels in the crown of the hidden heartlands. Absolutely amazing in terms of all the activities for families there. You can either go out on hikes and trails, canopy walks through the forest, you know, kayaking, the waterways, everything comes together in our amazing sort of outdoors but that fund is about how we're going to increase capacity and how we're going to look at more activities to encourage people to explore what's right on our doorstep. I'm also really happy to see that Board and Mona are working around developing trails because what we're looking at here for Just Transition is that people who are doing these jobs in Shannon Bridge and Lanesborough you know, th those, th they were changed. And what we need to drive now is jobs, jobs and tourism in these areas. We're also seeing in Shannon Bridge, just a few miles outside of Banla Slough, uh, in County Offaly though, but about 10 miles outside, you're seeing like millions going into the marina there and into the Shannon Bridge Plaza. And all of this is to support tourism, which benefits all the counties in the surrounding area. Um, I also want to acknowledge 7.8 million into Clonmac Noise again, which I think is one of the most amazing, uh, amazing historical heritage uh, areas that we have in Ireland dating back to the 8th century on the banks of the River Shannon. Uh, Clonmac Noise, the development of that to show that when you come and visit, it's not just about seeing the things that are in the National Museum here in Dublin, you come and you see Clonmac Noise which is on the banks of the Shannon in the Midlands and it's about encouraging people to come and visit and see these places that come alive when you have the interpretive centres and the funding uh, to develop those. Thank you. Margaret, 